Well, you got to move quicker than that. Looks like the Ravens, they missed out on this one. Even though, uh, judging from the comments section, there were a lot of mixed feelings about the possible signing of a Dwayne Smoot. But uh, the Jaguars say, hold up now. He getting a little too much interest from the Baltimore Ravens. Are he getting ready to go visit? All right, you know what? Let's Raven the Ravens. Let, let, let's do what they did to the Jets with Odell Beckham Jr., but with our guy, Dwayne Smoot. Uh, because as we recall... Dwayne Smoot was scheduled to visit with the Baltimore Ravens uh, early next week. Came out a couple days ago that he was going to visit with the Ravens early next week uh, as they look for help on the edge. And I was cool with it. I was cool. I know he was recovering from a, an Achilles and whatnot, but he was far along in his recovery process. Shout out to my guy, Mills RX, for the update. But, um,. I was cool with the signing. I'm like, it ain't like he gonna be a starter full time anyway. And, and for the last four or five year, or four years, he had gotten at least five sacks, getting QB hits and all that. I'm like, okay, so he's productive. He's productive. I ain't never gonna be mad at the Ravens bringing in somebody who's productive. Um, but the Jaguars, they weren't mad at bringing somebody back who is productive. And I mean, shout out to the Ravens because they, I'm sure they helped aid. Uh, Smoot and getting his deal with the Jacksonville Jaguars um, But yeah, that was that But it just, it reminded me of exactly what the Baltimore Ravens did When it came to Odell Beckham Jr. Because Odell Beckham Jr. was a free agent It was some said some teams were interested in him And then he was scheduled to visit with the Jets And then uh, it was getting closer and closer to that day And then last second, out of nowhere The Ravens swooped in And they signed Odell Beckham Jr. And gave him a deal that he could not refuse either I mean, you, if I'm getting, if I'm in talks with a team for what, like a five million dollar deal, something like that, and then you come around and you offer me a one year, eighteen million dollar deal, and I know it's worth up to eighteen mil, but fifteen mil guarantee. So I'm getting that whether, regardless of what happens, regardless of how I do, I'm getting fifteen mil guarantee. <laughs> Easy decision, easy decision. But just to look at the the details from uh, from Dwayne Smoot's contract. Uh, he got a one-year deal with a max value of 6.25 mil, including 3.25 mil guaranteed. So he got 3.25 mil guaranteed on, for one year, and he can earn uh, three more mil in incentives. So, I mean, I don't know if, uh, who knows what the Ravens would have paid him. Who knows? But I'm probably sure it was probably less than that. Uh, especially because I believe, I mean, according to my guy Pedro, I know he just put it out uh, maybe like 10 minutes before I'm recording this video that the Ravens got about 9.9 .9 million cap space. So if they do, if that is an accurate number, um, I, I don't see them dedicating 3.25 mil to Smoot. But hey, who, who knows? But I mean, I guess we'll never know now since <laughs> he's a Jaguar. So now the Ravens got to move on. They got to move on. So some names are out there that we know about. I oh, don't know. I know a lot of Ravens fans want to bring back Justin Houston, uh, and they could do that. He would be a safe guy. But with Justin Houston, I wouldn't be mad if they brought him back because he knows the system. He knows the Ravens. He could help teach the young guys, show them some moves and stuff. But with Justin Houston, um, if you're going to bring him back, cool. Don't have him out there every down. Don't do that. And, I mean, he wasn't out there every down, but – you got to have a good rotation. And I know it with pass rushes, it's tricky because you want to have them out there a lot so they can get into the groove and, and, and get into a, a rhythm and repetition and whatnot. But at the same time, and this is just my opinion, I just felt like last year, I felt like he just got so tired. I felt like he just got exhausted, man. Because remember, there was that, that string of games where he was getting at least like one or one and a half sacks or two sacks every game. And then all of a sudden, poof, he like disappeared. He's like, hey, wait, we're just in Houston. And I, th I thought he was just dog tired. Um, but with David Ajabo being back, Adolfo away, hopefully taking a jump this year. Um, yeah, man, so we'll see. We'll see. It's still Jadavian Clowney. Hey, y'all know I, I, I ain't giving up on Jadavian Clowney until he goes sign somewhere else, man. Y'all already know. I've been trying to get Jadavian Clowney to come here for years, literal years. And remember, Ravens almost did it back, um, I think, like, Maybe three years ago, Ravens. Remember when they were gonna do that three-team trade? I think with the Jaguars and the Saints and the Ravens, and they could have just done it, but they ran it by the commissioner first, and the commissioner was like, "No, you, you can't do that." So I, they should have just done it. They should have just submitted it to the league for approval. It just went through with it, and and it wasn't even really a three-team. It was technically a three-team trade, but um, it was like they were like they were finagling the system. 
because I think it was that they were going to have the Jaguars trade for Jadavian Clowney. No, was it the Jaguars or was it the Saints? It was, one team was going to trade for Jadavian Clowney. So they were going to eat a lot of the money that the Ravens couldn't afford at the time. And then they were going to trade into the Ravens. I forgot exactly what it was. it was. It was something crazy. But, yeah, the league was like, no, y'all not doing this. They shut it down. Um, but he's still an option. But, again, Melvin Ingram, who we discussed before, like we talked about earlier, Justin Houston. And I'm sure there's some other unsung heroes that we don't know about. Because, again, Dwayne Smoot was somebody that I didn't know about at all. I, I, I was naive to Dwayne Smoot. But. This Ravens being interested in him uh, That introduced us A lot of us to Dwayne Smoot And again like I said it was mixed feelings from a lot of people Me I was for it but I saw some people like oh man Another guy coming off of an Achilles injury I don't know about that I don't want him But then there was some of us like oh okay he got Four or five, uh, four or five sacks over the past couple of years Okay cool bring him but Yeah that's done now So we'll see And um hmm, I saw some people on Twitter uh, Yesterday Having a very interesting conversation about the Ravens and their pass rush um, and their edge group, saying that they just um, Ravens are banking on a lot of unknown right now. And they were saying that we have probably the worst pass rush right now, the worst edge group in the division. And I never thought about that before because we talked about uh, or they talked about Miles Garrett. And oh, who's the other one there in Cleveland? Oh, I forgot right now. I can't think of it. Talking about Alex Highsmith, who just got his bread. I didn't even know he had 14 sacks last year. I was like, what? But Alex Highsmith and TJ Watt. Um, there was the Bengals, Sean Hubbard, who we're all familiar with, uh, and Trey Hendrickson. And then and all those are proven guys. But with the Ravens, it's a Jabo and a Dafe away. And it's like, oh, we uh okay. We still waiting for Adolfo Away to turn that corner in a job boat. This will really kind of be like a rookie year for him almost. But so we, we just don't know yet. He, he was supposed to be a top five, a top 10 pick, but still, we ain't seen him in the NFL too much yet. So it was like, ooh, oh, well, that's so we'll see. So I can understand why the Ravens are looking for just some help, some, uh, some additional help for uh, the team. Now, um, one last thing, man, before we get out of here, I, I just got to uh, to let y'all know I really love y'all. I really appreciate y'all a lot. I appreciate the way that y'all are. Um, I had been going through the comment section and really yesterday because we we recorded the video with Lacey DaCosta. Uh, we recorded that on Wednesday and I was just very, very appreciative of her time and stuff and just like, man, I, I really appreciated her being willing to speak with us just about everything. Um, but then yesterday, yesterday was a uh, Thursday. Yesterday I was just, um, just really sitting back, just reflecting on everything. And I'm like, man, this, uh, it's been a crazy, like, I was just really reflecting over the last four years, man. And I'm like, things have just, things have, they came a long way. We still got a, a long ways to go, but I was just like, man, it's just, it's, it's crazy just, how things just have changed a lot um, for the better. Um, I'm just very appreciative of the way that y'all are uh, with just supporting. I'm appreciative of the way y'all are with just uh, just everything, man. Really everything. Um, I feel like we don't deserve none of this. Um, it's not like we like have so much, but I just feel like we we don't even deserve this and um just the way that y'all show consistent support day in day out like literally daily every every single day man every single day y'all be showing love y'all be showing support um y'all just be just come through all the time man all the time people who've been here for one year people who've been here for four years people who've been here from the beginning some people who came recently it just everybody just be showing so much love man and i i appreciate that so much man I really do, um, cause y'all like uh, mm, it's, it's people who uh, every like for to so one of the most valuable things that we have it ain't money, it ain't a car, it ain't if you got a house, it ain't if you got nice watch, a nice phone, it ain't the all that material stuff is cool, but it ain't the most value the most valuable thing that we have. Is time 
That is the most valuable thing that we have. That's the most valuable thing that we can give because say, for instance, you lose money. You can get that money back. You can get that bread back. You lose a house, apartment, you lose a car, a truck, you lose a watch, a phone, you lose all of that stuff. You can get that. That could be replaced. You can't get back time. You can never get back time. So I was just like yesterday and even this morning too, just really just reflecting on everything, man. And I'm like, man, it's people out there every single day that are willing to spend 10, 15 minutes with us every single day. Watching whatever video we talking about, whatever crazy opinion that we got, whatever it is, man, people willing to spend time every single day. Sometimes it's 10, 20 minutes. Sometimes it's 30 minutes. Sometimes it's an hour. Sometimes, hey, y'all know, sometimes it could be days when we may drop two videos. Some days we may drop five because stuff would just be that crazy. Y'all know how it is. Those of y'all that have been there, it all just depends on the day. But the fact that y'all are willing to just be there every single day and show love and support like y'all do, man, I appreciate it, man. I really do. I appreciate it a lot. And um, thank you, thank you, because it means uh, it means a lot to me. Um, it means a whole lot to me because it it just does, man. Like, cause really, when I just take a step back, like, and I wasn't like just saying that for the video with Lacey, cause we talked about that at the very beginning of the video, cause we talk about Ravens all the time. But I think it's important with anything that you do, just to take a step back, look at it from a different sort of perspective and whatnot and that's what i've been doing over the past couple of days and i'm just so appreciative of everybody man because everybody be just showing crazy 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 amount of love crazy amount of willingness to support um to help out if there was a need for help with anything like that especially like Again, going back to the whole demonetization thing, that just really like changed everything for me, man. I mean, I had always appreciated y'all always. Y'all know that I had always. But then with that situation, I'm like, man, like this is crazy, man. This is crazy how so many people just willing to go out of their way just to help out, to look out, to, to look up information, look up, say, hey, who we need to contact, who we need to talk to. So many people were like, hey, if, if you need to start a new channel, we'll be there. Just let us know. And I'm like, man, that was crazy, man. Just seeing that was crazy, man. So I appreciate y'all, man. I, I, I really do. So thank you, man. I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to, to let y'all know that because... I think it's important that y'all hear it. Um, I feel like transparency is so important uh, to me. Um, not that you got to share every little nook and cranny and detail uh, of things that are going on. Um, but I feel like just, I mean, being real is important, man. Being real, being honest, um, just all of that. Y'all y'all deserve all of that uh, from me, I feel, because um, so many people have been through and seen just so many different things things that have happened over here a lot of stuff that we've been through uh like with the channel and stuff both good and bad um but it's just been a lot man it's been a lot but i'm very grateful um for the channel to be where it is now it's still a small channel um it's i mean and it's been like very 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 slow growth i know it's slow season it's been slow season but still but uh i'm i'm just grateful though man very very grateful for what it is um i'm really I, you know i'm most important and i'm grateful for what the channel represents um because while it may not be the biggest channel it's definitely not the best channel and got all the pretty stuff and whatnot but i'm very appreciative of what the channel means and what it stands for because from the beginning when we started it was important for me um my goal was to just give people a break give people a break from Hey, the, the nine to five break from stresses from work, stresses from family, stresses from life, from stresses just in general. I know sometimes I know people feel like the Ravens could stress them out, but um, it, it was important that I just gave people a little break for however long a video is, five, 10, 15 minutes. But they getting a break from everything to where, yeah, we're going to talk about the good and the bad with the Ravens or NFL, whatever's going on. But we do. We have fun with it. 
we enjoy ourselves with it. I appreciate y'all for making it so much fun. Um, Cause we have a lot of fun here. It's a lot of work. We put in a lot of work, but we have a lot of fun here. A whole lot of fun. Um, but I thought that was very important with just with the channel to make sure that we had fun doing this. Uh, Cause if we wasn't having fun, then what good is it? Um, Cause so yeah, that that was really really important. Um, but yeah, man, I appreciate y'all. I, I uh, thank you all for supporting any guests that we've had on. Um, my list, uh, I still got my list of guests that I want to bring on, and I guess it'll trickle into training camp and preseason and even the season. I know uh, my schedule got a little wild, so I didn't get to go at the pace that I was going at before uh, with bringing people on, but we're still going to continue it. Um, still going to keep bringing people on and whatnot. So, yeah, man, that was that. I just wanted to um, update all y'all and everything. Oh, uh, oh, I ain't got my phone on me. But shout out to the newest team, Keep It Clean patron. Um, I think it's my guy, Joshua. Hey, so I, I appreciate you. I had to make sure I, I gave him a shout out. I, I, I thought I had my phone on me, but oh, I do. Okay, here it is. So let me let me let me make sure I got the, got the right name. I believe that's his name, but let me just again I, let me just double check, man. Um, because I don't. I, I've it's always been very important to me to uh to get people's names correct, uh to say the right name. So uh yes, it is Joshua A. So I appreciate you. Okay, so we we remembered it. All right. So um and 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 Nago and Nago Media. I, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it. I did get your, your your message, so I appreciate it. Oh, and one last thing, man. Um, mm, my guy, Chris. Chris G. Um, he sent me a message uh, a couple of days ago. Um, I ain't going to say what he said, but uh, he's going through some stuff, some serious stuff. Family going through some very serious stuff. So um, just y'all keep my guy, Chris G., uh, in your thoughts Give him a little shout out Little words of encouragement uh, In the comment section um, Cause this Life is very 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 tough um, And we all need a boost Here and there We all need a, a, a pick me up here and there We all need just some Positive reinforcement here and there Even if Hey we could be the happiest person You could be the saddest person Whatever you all, We all need a, a, a pick me up Here and there Cause we all got stuff that we go through All the time um, So Huge shout out to my guy Chris G. Um, I'm sorry for what's happening, man. I just situa his situation is tough, man. I, I his situation is tough, man. I really feel for him, man, because it's tough. But Chris G, uh, we I, I appreciate you. We all appreciate you, man. So just wanted to 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 let you know. Um, so team keep it clean I love all of y'all Again I appreciate all of y'all so much Y'all keep being positive Keep being strong uh, Keep being good people man Because the world needs more good people um, It needs more positive people It needs more happy people um, It needs more people to uplift each other Instead of tearing each other down So many people like, love to just Go and tear people down for what I think that's like the weirdest thing um, So y'all keep having positive energy Keep giving positive vibes to people Because we all need it, man. I love y'all so much. I appreciate everything. For real. Every every single thing. Thank you. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. And we out.